Dear Dad, today was awesome. Popola made me this huge cake that was really yummy, and everyone in the village has been wishing me happy birthday. It's fun. I feel like a princess or something. I don't feel sick at all today. In fact, I almost forgot I had this disease. So maybe you can forget about it too and come back home now? Oh my god! I am not at home so often that my daughter is writing me letters. That's not acceptable. What the hell? Dude, I know you're a great dad. Oh my god, no. We have to spend time with her. Seriously. After we save though. <laughs> okay, okay. I know how to make this right. Let's go buy that wheat that we were meaning to buy for so long. Yeah. And then we're gonna go home. And she's gonna cook the stew. And we're gonna have some nice family time. Okay? Although I feel like this attitude is partly why we have this problem to begin with. Give me a second, let me just check. We need wheat, right? Yona's home cooking. Yeah, we have venison. We just need wheat. Wheat. Yeah. Because this line of thinking of me wanting to do things for her, that's why we're not spending time together, right? <laughs> so I feel like I'm making the problem worse right now, but um, hopefully, hopefully she'll be happy. That I got the stew. How are things? Uh, is wheat a material? No, it, uh, it's so close yet so far. No. Okay. Somebody's gotta be selling wheat around here. The black scrawls here. Hey there. Ruins. Nope. I wish. Oh, I need to get like a different quest from Popola. Not Popola. Devil too. Because I finished the library one. Hey, listen. Hey, do you have time for a little side job? I'll make the time. Oh, come on, you gotta make the time for your kid, not some stupid side job. What's going on? <laughs> I was hoping you could go to the area and get an eagle egg for me. Oh, -ho, it sounds as if someone is brewing up another batch of medicine for an ailing relation. I sure am. You're pretty smart, Vicey. I see. Apparently, you can find eagle eggs up in high places where the wind blows. That's what I hear, anyway. You up for it? <laughs> sure. On the wings of eagles. Come on, Vicey, let's get moving. <laughs> I don't remember seeing any sort of like bird's nest or anything, but maybe we gotta go check again. Let's see what work I've got for you today. Dead. We're not fishing. End of story. <laughs> New merchant in town or post request? Postman's request? I guess I'll just go in order. <sighs> Some guy in Seafront wants to become a big time trader. Whatever works, I guess. He's waiting by the port over there. The port at Seafront. Is that Seafront? Okay, we've been to that location before, but he didn't want... Yeah, nobody there wanted anything at that point. Okay, I think I have enough incentives to go back to Seafront eventually. Even though it's not a main quest, I feel like they want me to go back so badly. So fine, I will, I will. Hello. Grocer. How about some wheat? Yeah. Oh, oh no, god, these buttons. 500? That's pretty expensive. Can I sell anything for money? Ooh, doubles magic damage for 30 seconds. I should probably be using these for boss quests and stuff, huh? But I feel like at the moment, we're actually doing pretty okay on damage and stuff, so I don't feel like we really need to use this stuff. Who knows? Maybe that'll change later. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Yeah. Come back soon. No, thank you. I am a little bit interested in the blacksmith's wife. Or just the blacksmith, really. She's so young, her whole life is ahead of her. Talking about my daughter. Hello. Uh-huh. Weapons. Lily leaf? This one would have been good if we bought it earlier. 123, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Beast Bane. Very heavy though, heavy. A sword that bears a beastly motif. It's short, thin blade seems eager to vanish from sight. I don't have enough money for this. Okay. But I'll keep my eye on it. Mm -hmm. 
Apparently, if we want to unlock more stuff in the future, we will need all the weapons and stuff, so... Something to keep an eye on, but I don't think we have to worry too much about it for now. Okay. Yes, enough bumbling around. We need to go back Black and spend time with our too? precious daughter, goddammit. Oh, me wanting the best for her is directly affecting my quality time that I get to spend with her. That's really... Like, I get where that comes from, but maybe it's not the wisest thing to be doing, especially because... Oh, I want to say especially because she has a disease right now, but because of the disease, that's why we're doing this too. It's a bit of a chicken and the egg, two-way street situation. Yo. I got your ingredients, Yona. Thanks, Dad. Hold on. I'm gonna start cooking right away. Yona, wait. Uh... Don't burn it. Dad, come on! I wouldn't forget something like that! The ingredients are recognizable, but... Oh god, that meat looks almost raw. Dad? Aren't you hungry? Uh, I sure am, Yona. And boy, it smells... delicious. This tastes like the floor of a cave. I think I'm going to be sick. Anything for your daughter. You gotta make your daughter happy. Can we discuss that letter you wrote? Oh my god, what now? Hey. Hey, Dad. Could you pick something up for me? Anything for my dear daughter. Yona's gift. Sure. What do you want? Um, a melon. A melon? Sure. Uh, how do I get a melon? Were they selling melons just now in the grocery store? Um... I will, I will. You have one right here! You got a well in already, okay? It's good enough. Hmm... We do have a melon seed. I don't know how the freaking gardening really works, but I'm just gonna plant something down here, just in case. <laughs> oh, this is looking pretty bleak, but... Oh, maybe I should fertilize this first. Yeah, speed fertilizer? Sure. Better be good. Plant. Melon seed. Ideally, if I go back to the grocer right now, they'll have a melon. Yeah, ideally. What's our main quest right now? Return to Popola. Okay. Um... You know what? If we can't find the melon here, I think I'm actually going to make a trip to Seafront right now. Because I know that we have that one quest, um, the one side quest that I'm kind of interested in doing right now is the one where we get to see Devola and Popola sing together. But that also involves going back to Popola, right? So I'm thinking, we can go to Seafront first, and then get all that crap going on, and then go back to Popola. Yeah, in a perfect world. The Black Scrawls here too? I don't know how it's actually gonna turn out though. Hello! Hi! You don't got any melons. Okay, well, maybe... maybe the grocer at Seafront will. Hmm. Okay, before we go there... Do we want to do fragile delivery too? <laughs> it, it, I mean, we could do it, we could. How many quests do we have at Seafront? Oh! I got the mutton already, bring it back to the client. A woman in green near the fountain in the shopping district. Jesus, oh no, I don't even know who... is it you? Well, hello. How about some seeds for planting? Everyone loves a new garden. Oh, seeds. No, I don't need this right now. The woman in green. Best of luck. Nobody can survive in this world without water or nature. The woman in green? You? <laughs> no. You're near the fountain, right? Uh, you're fragile delivery. Was it you? Yo. Oh my god, you're not wearing green. What? <laughs> Here's your mutton. Oh, thank you. I swear, these children of mine are gonna eat me out of the house and home. Eat me out of house and home. And remember, if you collect more, I'll buy it. Eh, not bad. Money is always nice. So there's one. There's one. Mm, return to shopping. Yeah, I want to buy some... Bounty fertilizer at Seafront, of which I already have one. 
On the wings of eagles. That's the airy. Yeah. Fragile delivery. I broke it <laughs> again. Ballad of the Twins. I need to get some special drink from a tavern in Seafront. This would be a good chance to go too, because the last time I went to Seafront, I completely missed that there was a tavern. I don't know if it's um me not being familiar with old games thing, but I seem to be missing a lot of these side rooms and stuff. They just don't seem to pop up in my view, so I just don't go into them. Hmm. Yona's gift. We need to find a melon. Please be at Seafront. The runaway son. We got no clue where this guy is. Unusual looking hat. Oh, maybe somebody at facade. Okay, so let's start fragile delivery again, and then we're gonna try to walk to seafront. Hey. I'm not gonna try too hard about this one though, because, you know, fragile delivery. Nothing good can come from it. Oh, you know what? If I actually want to do it, maybe the best thing I can do right now is to take away evading. Which I don't have right now. Okay, well, there you go. If we can't roll, we can't break it. Right? <laughs> I think we'll have to try to avoid combat too, though. Lots of little things going on here. Oh no, not this task again. <laughs> we'll be fine. We just need to go slow and take it easy. I am a creature of phenomenal talents, but those are two that escape me. It's still here. Well, I'm sure as hell not gonna let Kaine handle it. Indeed. I'm sure the hussy's foul language would reduce our precious cargo to dust. <laughs> You're damn right. Less bitching, more moving. <laughs> it's happening already. Kinda, don't talk. Don't talk around the package. You're gonna break it. Okay, I think we're gonna be able to make it to seafront fine without breaking this. That is a great relief. Kinda, what are you doing? Why are you glowing? Don't, don't, okay? Don't. Oh, we've made it. We've made it. Oh, well, that scared me. I'm starving. A city of this size must have some manner of eatery nearby. So the last time when we left Seafront, a couple of you guys told me in the comments, I think it was this guy. You better watch yourself around that old lighthouse lady, got it? This town didn't become a trade hub until the world sank into the ocean. And I completely just glossed over this line. Apparently the ocean, the world sank into the ocean. Ha. Huh. Back at the tavern, Devola also mentioned that the sun has never gone down. And I thought it was like a figure of speech for the tavern, but combined with the ocean drowning the world, I'm not so sure anymore. By the way, what are those? Those little cylinders in the corner. Oh, it's a water source. Okay, cool. Anyway, before we break the freaking delivery thing. Uh, how do I know what that X is? <laughs> That's, um, Devil Lost thing, right? The port- wait, no. I don't know. I don't know which is which. Tavern. Tavern. Okay, where is the tavern? Let's go to the tavern. We need to get there. You gotta tell me where the goddamn tavern is. <gasps> it's not here. Yup. Hmm. I wonder how contagious the Black Scrawl is. Where is the goddamn tavern in this town? Maybe that's why I've been missing them, because I just can't tell which one the tavern is. Bounty fertilizer? I'll have two. And I think that's it. I hope to see you again. I don't want to see you again. If I see you again, it probably means my my pockets, my wallet will be running out. What's new? Nothing we need. Okay. The tavern. Gonna make a bold, bold guess that the tavern is probably Oh? Hang on. That can't be the tavern. Really? Seriously? This little unsuspecting house. Okay. Hmm. Hey, buddy, have a drink. The mug will never leave you for another man. Ooh, wanna talk about it? <laughs> Yo. Hey, barkeep. You know anything about a drink Popola used to like? I need to get my hands on one. Popola, eh? Yeah, I know the drink. 
Sadly, I don't have the ingredients on hand. <laughs> it's a bit of a special brew. That's too bad. Now, if you wanted to go fetch me some of those ingredients, I'd be happy to whip one up for ya on the house. Fair enough. What do you need? I need five lizard tails and five mouse tails. What, seriously? Hey, I know it sounds crazy, but those are the ingredients. Well, if you say so. I have- I'm confident that I have five lizard tails, but not mouse tails. Which one is it again? Ballad? Oh, are you kidding me? I'm missing one mouse tail! Ah, okay. Mice tail, we can find it in the, the junk heap, I think. That's the only place I've seen a mouse. I guess we'll go back. Yeah. I do want to hear them sing. I get the feeling it'll be good. Yo. Hey, an old man in my village asked me to deliver this to you. Oh, wonderful. This will make my life a lot easier. Thanks so much. It's definitely less stressful when I'm delivering things I don't break. Oh well, guess I better tell the old guy that it arrived safely. I love how they don't even bother thinking of an actual item. They're like, hey, could you please deliver this nondescript item for me? <laughs> Sup? Sup, yeah. Okay, I'm getting your tails. Can I buy the tail somewhere? Anybody selling mice tails? No? I'm scared to talk to that old man. It might be something fishing related. <laughs> oh, Gastropod. These little seals are so cute. Okay, what do you want? What do you want? Oh. So you went and caught the fish, did ya? Well, since you're so insistent, I suppose I better reveal one of my fishing secrets. <laughs> oh! You are kidding me! This is Devil's Quest! I wasn't insisting that you... Oh, fine. Twist my arm some more, why don't ya? Well, if you can catch 10 sardines, I'll reveal one of my most secretly, closely guarded secrets. No, thank you. No, thanks. I think we're good here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are they hanging here? Bottles? Hmm. Okay. I know we have to do more things in Seafront than just this. What are we missing here? We got the shopping done. We got the delivery done. 10 sardines. I'll think about it. Yona's gift. Melon. Yes. Is anyone here selling melons? Melons? Feels so weird to say that word. Oh. Somebody at the port also needed my assistance for something. Let's go check that out. How about this place, by the way? That old lady in the lighthouse is a real pain. Should I go back and visit her? Hmm. Now that we've read the letter, maybe something will be different. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not going through that again. I solved it last time, and there wasn't anything in there. Which is really weird. I think something will show up there later. But it's too unfortunate that we did it... Oh, we did it too soon. Yo. You seem to be in good spirits. Oh, I am! My new flower shop is already far more successful than I ever dreamed. Really? Well, great. I was in trouble before, but I think I've got a good foundation here. I was just thinking of sending a letter to my girlfriend in the air. <laughs> I put her through a lot, but now I'm ready to start a new and better life. Just haven't found the time to track down the postman yet. Fine. The belated letter. Do you want me to deliver the letter for you? Oh, really? Are you sure? Oh, he's sure. Believe me, this man loves nothing more than meddling in other people's affairs. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Calling him out when it's right. Goddamn, he's right. But whatever. My girlfriend lives near the chief's house. Give her this freesia with a letter, okay? Letter to a faraway lover. Potted freesia. I really wanted to give her a lunar tear, but I'm sure, but I'm sure as you know, the whole reason they call them legendary is that they're so hard to cultivate. But I did manage to cultivate a Frisia. She's always like Frisias, so I guess things turn out for the best. Cultivating lunar tears must require a remarkable amount of work. He really tried to get his lover to join him, didn't he? Hey! 
You look like you have a strange hat. Yo. Hey, you the kid that ran away from home? Huh? Oh man, how'd you? I don't know why you left, but I think you should go back. Your family's sick with worry. No way, they want me to like, take up the family business. And I ain't doing it, man. I'm a rebel. Yes, we can see that. Well, perhaps you should let your family know that you are alive and well, and also to explain to them why you left. Oh man, people always gotta hassle me. Yeah, alright, I'll do it. But first, you gotta do something for me, man! There's this guy that's been helping me since I got here. The man who runs the tavern. Anyway, I wanna give him something nice. I was thinking I could, like, cook dinner or something. But I don't have any ingredients or whatever, so yeah. Oh, for hell's sakes. Fine, what do you need? This guy, man, he don't eat nothing but fish all the time, every day, fish, fish, fish. So I was thinking he might, like, want to try eating meat or whatever. So could you, like, get me five pieces of mun and three pieces of goat meat? I can find the pans and spoons and stuff, so just bring the meat to his place whenever, man. It appears so. But who can say if that lover honestly wanted to wait? What do you mean? The woman wanted to live with him, did she not? Well, yeah, but it wasn't gonna happen. That's why he left her in the village. It would have been difficult, yes, but perhaps preferable to a life of solitude. Why did they not think about how much the time and distance would separate them? It doesn't matter anymore. They can see each other just fine now. Indeed. The people at the Airy, we haven't seen a single one of them. Like, they were all hiding in the houses every single day. Hmm. Damn, I still don't have enough inventory. What's the problem? Well, I'm trying to get into the trading business, so I'm stopping up on the stocking up on the essentials. Is this some kind of import-export thing, where you try to sell local products to faraway lands? Not products so much as raw materials. With every nation running out of the basics, I figure that's the way to make a killing. But right now, I don't have a source for materials and it's driving me crazy. I just need to make one trade, then I can use that money to fund an expedition and I'll be set for life. But right now, I don't have anything to trade. It's a real... What you call it? Conundrum. Would you like a paperclip? I'm sure some of you have heard of this story already, but um, this guy, he started with a paperclip, and he kept trading up and up and up, and in the end, he managed to get a house. It's a pretty big list, so you might want to write it down in the floating notebook of yours. Okay, let's see. I need 10 bundles of wool, 5, lump five lumps of natural rubber, and 10 goat hides. Those aren't very common. I hope you aren't in a hurry. Oh no, take your time. That'll give me time to set up shop and fill up forms and the like. Yeah. Right, so back to the thing about how people here aren't... Like, we're nearing the end of the world right now, right? So people aren't doing so well. And that makes me really surprised to hear that the, the person running a flower shop is successful. Because, as far as I know, a flower... Like flowers are pretty... That's a luxury. That's not a necessity. Why are people buying flowers? Hmm. We have a lot of, like, item quests now, but none of them really caught my attention. The lighthouse lady. She's a mean old battle axe, that one. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go visit her. None of them really caught my attention, but if I come across the place where we actually get those items, I'm not opposed to getting them for the people. But stuff like natural rubber? I've never even heard of where to get that, so maybe we just haven't come across it yet. And yeah, I gotta, I gotta pick up these. I need them. They're beckoning for me. Okay. Well, I guess it's a good thing we came back here, because there's actually a lot of stuff to do here. It might all be tedious stuff in the end, but maybe just one of them. The letter one seems kind of interesting. Oh, we should probably read the letter. Hey. Hey. You gotta help me out here. You just gotta. I'm having some serious girl trouble. See, there's this girl I'm pretty wild for, so I asked her out. But she won't even consider it, unless I take her to a really nice restaurant. That seems rather selfish of her. No, no, it's not like that. 
She's just a girl who appreciates the finer things in life. First class all the way, right? You know the type. Ah, oh, you know, like a, a gold digger. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I know the type. Mm, but what do you want? Hey. What do you want from me then? You, you didn't ask me to do anything for you. Okay. Wool. We can buy wool. Not a big thing. Melon. We gotta find a melon here, okay? Love letter. No, what did this person want to do for me? Or want me to do for them? He's like, you gotta help me out, man. And hey. that's it. Okay. Sure, man. I have enough fetch quests that I'm not gonna pester you if you don't want to give it to me. Okay. You know, for a place with wind power, I don't actually feel like there's a lot of electricity being used here. Oh, how do I get in again? Here. I haven't even seen like a lamp or anything. Electric lamp? Nothing of the sort. We're still using candles. So what's the what's the wind power going to? Got nothing for me, old lady? The thought that anyone would actually bother to write you a letter staggers the imagination. Yes, someone very dear to her. The weird thing that we established from this was that um the letter seems to have been written 20 years ago. That is really strange. Where was the other book? Or um where is the letter? Oh, there's so many now. Oh, this is Yona's letter. Hmm. Letter from the mayor. Dream, dream, dream. Letter to a faraway lover. My dearest, my efforts at cultivating Frisia have finally borne fruit. I know it's taken a while, but I didn't want to contact you until I was sure I could keep my head above water. Now that the money is starting to roll in, I was hoping you could leave the village and come live with me as my wife. I know it's sudden, but I'm not very good at this type of thing, so I figured I'd just ask and let the chips fall where they may. I'll be waiting for you. Well, it's not... This guy basically sent... He's asking a stranger to send his future wife a pot of flowers as a proposal for her to marry him. I don't know how convincing that is. I mean, yeah, yeah, something about love, something about money is not the thing that matters, but a pot of flowers delivered by someone who's not even the postman? <laughs> mm. Shows a lack of sincerity, man. Mm. The, lighthouse lady. the grocery store. Did I talk to you already? I think I did. Yeah, I don't see any... Where are the goddamn melons? Grocery. I need to find the one that says grocery. Oh, you. You. Melons. Melons. Yes! Whoa! It's pricey. Anything for my daughter. Anything for my daughter. Yeah. I'm sure we can make it back by selling some other stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that all we got here then? I think so. If it's not, then that is just too bad. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back here again. Just like how we seem like... Uh, it seems like we'll go back to the, um, the area eventually. Hey, yo, Kaine. Wanna go fight some big shades with me? There's a huge one here. Whoa! What was that? Was that the big shade? Oh, It's very cloudy today. Uh, I don't need any more venison. No. What was that? Yeah, it's still here. Should I... Kaine? Would you like to... Start off? We should probably test some of the stuff we got out first. Like, we have so many things that I've never used before. That I don't actually remember what they do anymore. Dark wall? Hmm... Let's try taking out Dark Blast for... Dark Execution. Execution sounds strong. Ow! <laughs> Whoa, I lost a lot of health from that. Holy crap. Mm, do I need to aim for this? I can't seem to aim. 
Okay. Well, Kaina's doing her thing, so in the meantime... No, Kaina, go back and fight. Go back and fight. Yeah, since we're fighting a boss, I'll play around with the abilities later, but not right now. No. Okay. For now, we'll try to focus on seeing if we can actually kill this thing this time. Ooh, yeah, kinda. It looks like she has something good against it. This might be good. Oh, and look at my thing now. Look at my mana bar. The amount of mana I need for a Dark Lance has decreased significantly, and you didn't do that before. You didn't do that before. That's scary, because I gotta actually watch my health now. Oh my goodness. Was that kinda hitting me? I don't think so. You weren't this strong before, were you? Do you scale? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I have to evade again. I don't want to get too close. No, not at all. Let's, um... Let's put back Evade here. I want to do Dark Hand, but I think we're a little bit... We need to be a little bit too close for my liking to do Dark Hand. Oh! We can do it this time, though. We are watering it down quite well. And if we can get rid of this guy... Maybe the villagers will be happier, and somebody will give me a reward, so on and so forth. It's all about the rewards. If there's no incentive, don't expect that I'll be doing anything for you. <laughs> Gotta make it worth my time, you know? My daughter is not doing well and all. Oh, God. The shade's only attacking me. It's not attacking Kaina. It's okay, though, as long as we don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Actually doing damage now. Come on, Kaine. Woo! I don't even want to get close to try physical attacks for this one. It seems so risky. Maybe I can try getting a little closer. That's enough! Risky, risky. That one's not too hard to avoid, though. All I gotta do is jump. Ooh! Thought that was a bad idea. Look at it, look at it. We're getting it, we're getting it. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. Putting in work, kinda. I'm counting on you. Is kinda bleeding? Or is- oh my god. So close. I'll let you deal the finishing blow if you want, kinda. Or not. Woo! Bessie. Use with all categories. Martial arts. This is probably a good time for me to be looking at word edit, huh? Hey, Kaina! Hey, you're okay, right? Ah. Uh, Kaina? Oh, jeez, you scared me. Okay. Whew, glad to see you're okay. Word edit! Yeah, oh, we haven't been putting them on the new ones we got either. Okay. Let's go with Dark Hand. Let's see. Anything more than Magic Power plus 2%? No, we've got nothing more than <laughs> 2%. Hang on, wait. When it says plus 2%, does it mean that it's 4% or... I don't even know. No, we don't have anything. Okay. Lug? This is minus 2 magic cost. Item drop rate. No, I think I'll keep it at that for now. Okay, so Geb Lug. Geb Lug for all the... 
all the magic attacks. Mm -hmm. How about weapons? Yes, we need to put something on this. We're using Faith right now, right? Faith. The one that we just picked up, Bessie. Bessie. Uh, how do I know what I'm highlighting right now? I can't even tell. Is it this one? Aha. Uh -huh. Bessie. Oh, but Bessie is for like martial arts. Okay. Guard break, attack power. Let's put Paha on it. And then item drop rate? I don't think we care about item drop rate that much. Oh, what are these effects? No effect to paralyze level one. No effect to confuse level one. Poison level one. Poison? You can try it out. Sure. Sounds good to me. And martial arts. Defend, evade. Bessie? Better version of Bess. Yeah. Asher? Asherir. MP recovery rate. Well, that's pretty good, too. Do I actively have to use these abilities to get these stats? Oh, MP recovery. No, let's go with... Uh, physical defense. Bessie Asherir. Bessie? Asherir. Alright. I think we're good for the little bit. Next little bit. Let's get back home then. There aren't any... No. It's just deer here. Where do we come from again? Here? Mm-hmm. Back in town. 